Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Minecraft command block tutorial on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a custom plot for your Minecraft servers for adventure. This is really for adventure servers. Uh, big shout out to Dan, Rob's Rob's. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. Um, I did get most of this from him. Uh, so I'm not taking credit for this. Um, but I did kind of, you know, enhance it a little bit to a uh, PlayStation 4 edition. So it actually does work pretty uh, well, in my opinion. Um, this is version 1 right now, so keep that in mind. I will be making other versions of this. I will be trying to update it, you know. Um, I'm going to try to keep up on that. But if you guys have any problems with anything, leave your problem down below. I'll try my best to help you guys out uh, in time or as soon as I can. If you guys, uh, you know, if you can't figure it out down below, then I'll help you guys out on your world. Just send me a friend request. I've been getting a lot of them recently. You know that. Appreciate all the support lately. We're getting close to 1K subs. If you guys are brand new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You guys know. Really appreciate it. So if I take this plot key right here in my hand and I throw it into this hopper, it is going to do this okay it is going to spawn me into this little area and uh these glass blocks will obviously be barriers on your server barrier blocks so they can't get through they can't break and it um it is going to update their game mode to survival so they can like break stuff in their plot uh, you might want to like put bedrock or something down below just make sure they can't get out you know so they can't get out in survival and you know go break things but yeah now they're in their plot you know they get their plot key back there is one thing about this like i said this is version one i need to take that out um the, the hopper keeps the plot key in there after you use it and keep using it. It'll keep like stacking on. I'll show you guys right now. So if I go and throw that in there, oh well, you know, it's not going to work with um one already in there. There actually has to be none in there for it to work. So it's going to spawn me in here. And there's also going to be another key. You get one in your hand. There will be one in that hopper right there, which people can easily take. But um, you can use like a trap door or something or like a little area right here to where it TPs them just to this little hopper spot so people can't get the key. Uh, you guys can really, you know, work around these things, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're in here, you guys know, and you guys are wondering how you get out. No, you don't just jump over like you can. I just realized that. Um, you guys can put like a little button anywhere. Um, I suggest it be in the four. Um, so you click the button, and then it's going to TP you anywhere you want it to TP them. It can TP them back to spawn or whatever. Um, and it's going to set their game mode back to adventure so they can't break anything. Okay, so getting on with what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and build like a little area. And this does not matter um, how big the area is, which is really good about this. They can be like super small areas or massive areas. It does not matter. Um, just build a little box. It doesn't matter, you know, what shape it is or whatever. Um, and then make a little hopper, like a corner area right here. Um, put a hopper in the corner or anywhere, honestly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be in the corner. It can be right in front. Uh, it's really customizable. You guys can really, you know, work around things that you guys don't like. Um... So yeah, put a hopper right there. You guys don't want to put anything under it. Just make sure that it is like going into um, the wall and the thing's not pointing down. Uh, that is pretty important because if not, it will not work. Um, and then you're going to come over to the back or any side. It has to be fairly close to your um, plot area. What you're going to do is you don't have to have this little pillar. You're just going to put a hopper either on right on the back side or one block away and make sure the hopper thing is pointing that way. And then take the plot key or whatever your plot key is going to be, um, rename it to anything, and then put it in the first slot in the hopper. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put a repeating command block under the hopper, and then a comparator, impulse block, and then four chain blocks after that. I just made that, you know, I'm trying to go through this as best as I can. Um, and then under this hopper right here and this repeating one, I don't know why that happened, um, if it'll let me go into it, it's just a repeat, unconditional, always active. And this is testing four blocks, swiggly line, swiggly line, one. And then three swiggly lines, one. And then another swiggly line, space. And that's, um, those little commands right there are these, uh, the hopper ones right here. 80, no, that, I'm wrong. Yeah, no, this is right, this is right. I'm right. Um, so yeah, it's just TPing or testing four blocks, this player right here. Um, the, wherever your hopper's at, I'm freaking stuttering over my words. Wherever your hopper at, hopper is at, uh, those are the cords that you guys want to uh, put in here after this, uh, the last wiggling line. And then after the comparator, hopefully that uh, that went well. Hopefully you guys understood me. Uh, and then the impulse block right here is you guys don't want to mess with any of this. This is just going to TPing at player to the middle of the plot or wherever they're um, being TP to. You know, inside the plot, it doesn't matter where they get TP to, obviously. Um, but mine is obviously right in the center. Cinder. <laughs> I am I am just I need to slow down here. Okay, yeah, so 
TP at player negative 85 350 which is the chords in the plot um, and then the first chain block right here is just gonna be cloning negative 814 which is the hopper chords over by the corner of the plot and then the middle of the plot chords at the end uh, hopefully that makes sense that's pretty simple hopefully um, so it's just two sets of these chords right here the hopper chords and then um, one set of your uh, plot right here pretty simple pretty simple um, was that the first one yes and then the second chain block is set block 85 350 which is inside of the plot chords keep all these chords in mind don't get mixed up with these because they probably are going to be kind of similar depending on how close the hopper and stuff is anyways it's um set block 85 350 air destroy this is chain unconditional and always active same for um this one that's the same for all these they're all chain unconditional and always active um, and then the third one right here is just chain conditional, always active, like I just said, unconditional. And this is just saying title at player, title at players, plot, which is just saying at players, meep is bees, plot. It's going to say anybody who is throwing the plot key down, which is pretty sick. That's a pretty cool um, command right there. I actually did not know that until now, <laughs> um, or before I did this. And then the very last one is just game mode, survival at player, which is setting the gamers... Um, or the players survival whenever they get TP'd in there so they you know they can place things and break things or whatever um so yeah that's what goes on with the hopper and throwing the key into it and TP'ing them in the here and the little title thing um and then over here to get out this is pretty simple I'm just gonna have to break everything right here um what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a button down right here and then you're gonna put a piece of redstone dust under that block with the button on it you're going to put a uh, impulse block right here with a repeater and then another impulse block. Inside the first one, this is just game mode at adventure or adventure at player, I mean. Um, it's just, first of all, setting the player's um, game mode to adventure so that, you know, they can't get out and break anything. And then the second one here is just TPing the uh, player to wherever you guys want them to be TP to. In my case, it's just the um, hopper right there. And then the facing, um, I'm pretty sure the facing stuff doesn't really matter. But if you guys want to throw that in there, you guys can. And you guys are done. That's simple. It's easy. Um, if you guys have a problem with this little hopper right here and it, the hopper like spawning in and everything, um, you guys might have to change the cords in here. Just mess around with the cords. Yeah, so you guys are pretty much good. Um, one thing about this, like I did say, uh, you guys are might have a little bit of problems with the hopper spawning inside of your plot and not disappearing. So another one is whenever you throw the plot key in there, it tends to actually throw another plot key in there and it's you know stuck in the hopper like I said at the beginning of the video. So you guys might want to like make like a little spot where they like get TP maybe to like do something like this you know where it's like a little um they get a certain key and they throw it down and it automatically tees PM TPs them tees I don't even know what I'm saying right now I'm just bad at talking today uh but yeah just TPs them into this like little area and then they're safe you know their their plot keys won't get taken or anything they can you know take that one and then throw it in there they get TP'd into their plot you know so it works pretty good um for like servers like you know prison or you know if you guys want to make like vaults for like uh kit pvps that are like a little bit more protected and people can see i guess i just realized i just made myself stuck uh you guys can do that with this um it's pretty simple um like i said i will be making another version of this just updating it make it a little bit more server friendly for you guys I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to hit the like button until next time guys peace out